Hi guys, and today I'm doing a haul and a try on of a brand called Femme Lux. Femme Lux is the brand I've never spoken about on my channel before, but I've worked with them over on my Instagram where they would send me some of their pieces and I would post about them. It is a very affordable brand known for cords, and you guys, if you know me, you know I am obsessed with cords. For every item that I'm going to feature today, I'm going to leave their names and their prices up here so you can see how affordable these pieces are. The first thing in here is a dress that I adore. I think this dress is stunning and I haven't worn it yet. There's still a tag on here, but just look at this dress, you guys. Isn't this one of the most beautiful materials you've ever seen? I would say this dress would be in top three dresses that I own. I love this. I love how this looks on. I feel like as soon as you would walk into a club, attention would be on you straight away because of how shiny and eye-catching this dress is. And I just, I'm all about that. It's so my vibe. I would say with the quality, it's not like the best thing in the world. Like you have some threads that I'll show you up close here so you can see like in certain places. I don't know if you can see right here. So nobody will actually notice when you have it on. So it's no bother. These are the sort of brass that I wear with the dresses. So it's a backless strapless bra that you basically stick on. Next up we have the first cord and this one I did wear for my April Outfits of the Week, Quarantine Outfits of the Week edition video. This is a very comfortable cord of a cropped jumper. It's a very subtle V neckline the front and the back, very thick material, not see-through whatsoever, really nice and warm. I wish this was ever so slightly longer and then we have these bottoms to go with the top and bottoms once again perfect quality. They are joggers but they are elasticated at the bottom. These are the only types of joggers I wear. I would never wear flares or straight legs, not my style, don't come for me. But I hate flares. I actually worn these to Australia and I absolutely love wearing them because it's so comfortable. On their website you can also find a lot of one shoulder tops which we know is a trend of 2019-2020 and that's the trend that I actually adore as well. I think they just look amazing on everyone and this is the top that I have from them. This top really gives me sports vibes and I remember my flatmate said the same. She actually called it a sports bra, but it's not a sports bra on the website, it's just labeled as a crop top. But I think because it has neon strap, it kind of looks sporty. Once again, I wish it was slightly longer. I feel like I can only get away with wearing this top with very high-waisted leggings or jeans. But the quality, the material, everything about it is great. This next item, hands down, from this entire haul, just this cord, I need more of them in my life. I mean, I have two colors of this, but I need more, I need more ASAP. This is the best cord that I ever owned. So the top looks like this. Again, it's cropped, which is very flattering, but this is not too short cropped. This is like perfect cropped. Probably when I show it on, it will make far more sense. But yeah, it looks like this. And then it comes with these lovely trousers. Exactly the same color, exactly the same print. Elasticated at the bottom. We wanted it skinny, we have it skinny. So this cord makes me happy once again. This item I wore in Australia as well. I loved it. I'm just so happy I wore it in Australia because you know when you have some pictures that mean a lot to you, like traveling pictures, and you don't like the outfit that you have on, it just makes you feel like, oh, I wish that outfit wouldn't spoil my picture. With this, that's not the case. I'm so happy I chose it. Okay, I think it's time to talk about something that I don't actually like since I mentioned some of the great items. This dress, I don't like and I don't know if I'll ever wear it, to be honest. First of all, my nan had to fix it, so it does look slightly better now than what it used to. I don't have any pictures of what it used to look like, but it's still not my favorite. It looks like this, and this is one of those dresses that I've seen on Instagram a lot, but it is a satin, sort of like a straight fit dress. This dress is, has a very boxy, very shapeless fit to it. It fits weird around my chest. I don't really like how this fits around my chest. It has this double material. 
I presume you need to like tuck in to make it work. I don't know if any of this makes any sense, but I think you have to tuck it in. But even then, it has like a weird boxy neckline to it and just boxy fit in general. It's too loose, too buggy, too shapeless. Mine is in the size 6, which is the smallest I could get and still way too large on me. At least it feels like it. I suppose maybe it's meant to be that fit, you know, but I don't like it. I need something fitting. I need something that will curve in my figure. Yeah, my nan took in a bit of a strap because it was too long and my bra was showing when I about put it on, like it was that bad. So now my bra isn't showing but I still don't really like the fit and the look of this dress. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Next up, we've got an item that's actually most worn by me just because it's the most practical and especially in the colder months i was just wearing it as a layer piece and i absolutely loved it and i also wanted it for like some nights out where i would get cold just in a dress so i put this on top it is a blazer actually needs a wash so excuse me if it's a bit dirty it does need a wash i actually took it out of my washing basket to show you I need to hand wash it. I am too scared to put it in the washing machine because I'm scared it's going to lose its shape and the material is just going to thin out. But yeah, it's this beautiful blazer. Oh, I should probably do it up to show you actually. I'm going to do up a few things. So it looks somewhat like this. Great material, nice and thick, nice and structured. It has this beautiful like elasticated waistband that just gives your figure an amazing, amazing shape. I think the quality of this is absolutely amazing. Very practical piece. And yeah, probably one of my favorites as well. I have one more cord. This one looks like this. So this you can't really tell on camera. Once again, I featured this in my April Outfits of the Week quarantine edition. And you couldn't really tell on camera how it actually looks like because it has a pattern has a pattern but you can't really tell now you can probably tell a lot more it has um, things that you can actually like give it a lot more structure it does like a long long sleeve top slash jumper but I would say it's a top rather than a jumper and then it comes with black leggings with the same pattern so that's the pattern and these are just leggings and very nice fit, not too thin, not too thick, but fits me really nicely. I need to put some thick tan on, you know, because of lockdown, I feel like you just can't be bothered to do anything because you're not seeing anyone. I mean, for me personally, I've not seen anyone for the last three weeks nearly now because I live on my own. Well, I live with a friend, but she moved to back to her parents' place for lockdown. She lost her job and she moved back to her parents. So yeah, just me. It seems slightly see-through when you look at it, but on me, I've never noticed it to be see-through, so I don't think it's a problem, to be honest. I think we might possibly finish on a bad note. I feel bad, especially because I love the brand. But to be fair, like the vast majority of these pieces are to die for, so I shouldn't feel that bad. This jacket, I don't think I'm ever going to wear it. I don't know, but... I brought it with me to Canaries, to Gran Canaria. Me and my friend went to Gran Canaria and Tenerife just before lockdown. Well, not just before, but we went in February and lockdown happened in March. So it was like, I'm happy that I managed to get a holiday in before the whole situation. Otherwise, I feel like my mental health would not be where it's at right now. But yeah, I brought this jacket with me and I put it on one day and he was like, no, take it off, this jacket just doesn't go with anything, it's like the worst thing ever, take it off, never wear it again, you can't wear it, it's awful, it's what he said. And to be fair, I kind of like, slightly agree with him, I think this jacket is a bit over the top and I don't know if I'll wear it or not, like, initially when I got it and when I put it on, I loved it because I love puffy arms, I love big puffy arms, I think. I just love them. I know it's a love or hate thing. Some people don't like them, some people love them. But I think these puffy sleeves are so over the top that it's borderline ridiculous. But I feel like some people would love it, some people wouldn't. I I don't know. I'm on the fence. Like sometimes I look at it and I think, oh my god, this looks very quirky, really cool, really out there. 
I'm going to wear it because I love quirky things and then other times I'm thinking, oh no, it's way too over the top and weird. I think especially after what he said, I don't like it, but I feel like before I liked it, so I don't... You guys tell me, you guys tell me please what you think about this. It is leather jacket and it looks like this. And yeah, it just zip up jacket, but it has very puffy sleeves. Really, really puffy sleeves. And that's why I don't know if I like it or I hate it. I've never worn it, as I said, just because I feel very intimidated by it now. And also, this is not the best quality leather jacket. Leather is quite thin and people like on this of course it's faux leather it's not real leather i don't wear real leather to be honest so it is faux leather but i don't wear real leather anyway i don't find it ethical to wear real leather so it's fine by me but you know faux leather can be really good quality nice and thick this is not this is thin this is like paper thin not the best quality but you definitely need to tell me what you think about this shape and this fit and the sleeves of the arms. Are they too outrageous or are they really nice and quirky? Leave a comment, let me know. I don't know, but this is the last item in this haul. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm ever going to wear it. We'll see. But yeah, you guys, that's the end for my Femlux haul and try on. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video if you did and subscribe to me if you haven't already. And I'll see my next one. Bye!